What is he buzzing in my ears? Now that I come to die, do I view the world as a veil of tears? Ah, reverend sir, not I. What I viewed there once, what I view again where the physic bottles stand on the table's edge, is a suburb lane with a wall to my bedside hand. That lane sloped, much as the bottles do, from a house you could descry o'er the garden wall. Is the curtain blue or green to a healthy eye? To mine, it serves for the old June weather blue above lane and wall. And that father's bottle labelled ether is the home o'er topping all. At a terrace, somewhere near the stopper, there watched for me one June. A girl. I know, sir, it's improper. My poor mind's out of tune. Only, there was a way. You crept close by the side to dodge eyes in the house. Two eyes except they styled the house the lodge. What right had a lounger up their lane? But, by creeping very close, with the good wall's help, their eyes might strain and stretch themselves to O's, yet never catch her and me together. As she left the attic, there, by the rim of the bottle labelled ether, and stole from stair to stair, and stood by the rose wreathed gate. Alas, we loved, sir, used to meet. How sad and bad and mad it was, but then, how it was sweet. Written by Robert Browning, narrated by Jordan Harling.